We have times in our lives where it's just difficult to put one foot in front of the other. And, you know, with these songs of ascents, there's this journey idea. They're walking toward a final destination, towards the house of God. And not every step along the way is going to be easy. Now, what we need to do is to remember the faithfulness of Almighty God. And that's where Psalm 126 uh, is particularly apropos. It starts this way, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. It's remember something, remembering something from the past. And Zion, of course, is the city of God. So we're remembering that there's been some prior moment that was difficult for the city of God, but the Lord himself restored the fortunes of Zion. And when he did that, well, we were like those who dream. We, it's like we, we woke up and we thought, look at this. Could, could this really be? Am I dreaming? This is marvelous what God has done. And what did we do? We laughed. We laughed with joy. Our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Wouldn't you just love that today? Maybe something you're, you're just longing for and you think there's no way that could ever happen. And then there it is right in front of you. Well, if you have something like that in your past, if Israel has something like that in her past, she can refer back to it and then you move on with other good thoughts, then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. So even those around, maybe the surrounding nations to Israel is looking at the restored fortunes of God's people, of the city of God, and, and they're talking among themselves, saying, wow, the Lord, the God of Israel, he's done great things. He's done great things for them. So it's not just their own memory now, but it's others along the way who are, they're observing, they're thinking, they're speaking. And then Israel comes back into the psalm and she agrees. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. So this is part of having a good historical memory where we keep in mind that there have been deeds of deliverance that God has accomplished for us. For instance, think about Israel coming out of Egypt. Wasn't that a great day of deliverance? Think about under Joshua going into the promised land. Wasn't that amazing? During the period of Judges, weren't there great things that happened? What about in the days of David? Didn't God do amazing things? Now move it Move it forward and think about the accomplishments that took place, the miraculous accomplishments in the life of Jesus. Ah, and think about, think about the way he fed thousands with just the most meager rations. Think about the fact that he raised the dead, that he cleansed the lepers. And then, of course, think about the cross and think about the, the empty tomb Look at what God has done. And then think about the pouring out of the Holy Spirit. And think about church history and marvelous moments of God's special providence. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad. And of course, you could think about your own life too. But now, see, the, the psalm turns in a different direction. Because what, what's happening is now we need that thought right now because we have tough times. Restore our fortunes, O Lord. Like streams in the Negev, streams in the desert there. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Somehow they're planting, they're planting something with tears, like, like someone burying a loved one. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. Yes, resurrection from the dead. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy bringing his sheaves with him. This is what we're looking for, that somehow there would be the ultimate defeat of sin, of misery, and of death, and of hell itself. 
And we'd say, yes, the Lord, look what the Lord has done as we're bringing in the sheaves, we come rejoicing. Like this, this is a great psalm of faith. It's a voice of faith at a time of great need. And, and we're going to need psalms like this. Father, thank you that along the journey towards our heavenly home, you fill our voices with songs of gladness where we're reminded of your great acts of deliverance for us. Yes, we are glad and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends.